All right. Good morning. Good morning. Always something when you deal with technology. So thanks for being patient. All right. So as we were saying, the full moon last night was huge. We did a beautiful sound bath and all of that. I was thinking this morning, like, oh my God, I slept so deep. I was just like so gone. I was dreaming. I woke up this morning past my alarm, which is like, I think part of, you know, hurry, go, right? That kind of thing. But I do feel the fullness of that moon. I feel all the possibilities and all the changing coming in. How about you? That's what we're going to talk about today, because when we have change, when we have shifts, it creates stress. I mean, we're human. The body doesn't necessarily like change. And so we start to create stress in many different areas and it affects us so much. Anybody watching the participating in the World Tapping Summit? Every year I'm fascinated by new research. Every single year of what tapping is showing to the world through science, how much stress affects the body in so many ways. Even little shifts, even little changes starts to really compound on the stress and like attracts like. We know that through energy. So even just a little shift, even just a little stress and shifting and changing can start to attract others. We start to attract fear and doubt and am I good enough and can I do this? And then pretty soon if we don't use our tools and all of a sudden we're riddled with all of this anxiety in the body that affects every single organ, every single thing. And then we just attract more. So tapping is such a great technique for getting quickly, especially too, to what's going on, to what's underneath it. And even just to help you propel yourself just a little bit forward, and then maybe you have to tap again, a little bit forward, a little bit forward, until you create those new neural pathways. Science is proving now we can create new neural pathways in the brain. What happens? We're human. We run around. We do everything, and we start to find our comfort zones. Oh, I'll do this, and I'll do this, and this will protect me, and this will keep me safe. And all of a sudden, we're off on this path, and we really want to be on this path. So how do we get back there? Oh, let's do some tapping. Let's move those blocks so that we can start to flow again, start to come back into the present and respond from that present moment. All right. Otherwise, the ego wants to pull all that past, all those excuses, all the reasons anything could go wrong forward with you. And that doesn't help for change. It really doesn't. Even if they're little changes, even if they're small shifts, it doesn't really help. So I really wanted to just kind of, we talked about last night, setting new intentions, the new moon coming in. We talked about it in the meditation yesterday, the new energy, the new season, like all of this shifting. And now this weekend into next week, we're going to see here shift in weather. And that's going to affect us too. Even that up and down, up and down creates stress in the body. So I wanted to tap today. And if either you have anything you want to put in the chat, if you wanted me to tap, go in one direction or another, just Put your comments in there, but I'm going to work on tap on really we'll just start with stress and I'll have you notice where that stress is, stress to change, stress on what I wrote down as I was sitting here meditating, I actually drew a card as I was waiting on the wrong chat room. I drew the moon, which is kind of interesting too, because it's like, okay, really using your intuition and really sitting in that space. Don't get caught of the illusions of what you think they are. So I think some of the doubt for change, that's kind of what I wrote down. So we'll see where we go with it. Again, we'll do point to point after we do our opening breathing and we'll notice what we notice. I'll guide you through. All right. So just exhaling all the way down. We're starting with calling in the elements, lighting some fire. Got a whole bowl I'm going to burn away today as we go to prepare for the spring. So I'm just going to light it in here. As you do, notice that fire. Notice the colors. Notice the way it ignites your spirit as well. Calling in the element of air, cleanse the mind, cleanse the space. It's going to be time to change our altars. Calling in the element of water, just feeling that love for yourself, feeling that element of Pisces that brings in that water, the deep depth of your soul, your heart. Calling in the element of earth, earth grounding us in this Virgo energy, grounding us to find our skills, our talents, and use them of service. Taking a nice deep inhale, and exhale as we activate spirit to spirit. Inhale, expanding the breath up the body. 
and exhale, pulling that breath all the way back down, calling in your energy, calling all the energy that may have astro traveled last night, call in your spirit, feel that alignment right on top of the physical body. Take another breath as you expand it all the way up the body. Exhale, pull the navel in, pull the breath down, coming into the heart. Inhale, expanding the breath as you feel that connection of your spirit, greater spirit. Know that you are known, know that you are loved and protected, feeling all this energy coming in around you. As we call them the masters, the teachers, the archangels for love and joy, right into the heart, calling in the crystal beings for amplification, for protection, calling in your own spirit guides to receive messages of knowing. Inhaling and exhaling, just aligning with your intentions you've set under this full moon. We're still in the fullness of the moon. And just let that energy as you breathe, let it radiate out all around you, honoring all the elements, all of the directions to the north, the east, the south, and the west, above us, below us, right into the very center. Pausing right here, feel those intentions. Let the joy of them lift your vibration, lift the heart. And then exhaling all the way down, deep into the earth, all the way down, opening that radiant light channel. Inhale, breathing back up the body, all the way into the higher realms. Call in absolute light. Absolute light streams of grace to wash through you all the way back down. Inhaling up the body. Exhaling back down. Deep into the earth. Inhaling, feeling that breath coming up, opening up to that first chakra, all the way up to the body, the crown, all the way into the higher realms. Exhale, breathing that light, that breath all the way down, activating your light body all the way deep inside of you. One more time, inhaling up the body, exhaling back down. Inhale, coming into the heart, just sending a little Reiki right there out to your heart. And as you take that next breath, just allow this vibration of energy to radiate all around you, opening your field. Moving the energy around you, exhale, breathing it back in. Inhale, expanding that breath, that light, your light, all the way around. Exhale, breathing it back in. Inhale, expanding your auric fields. Exhale, breathing it back in. Feeling that energy moving front, side, behind you, all around you. Letting any of that stuck energy just get a pulse to it, a movement to it. Returning up the body. Exhaling back down. Inhaling around. Exhaling back in. Coming right into the heart. And now just taking a pause and just noticing. Noticing where you are on that scale of 1 to 10 for stress. Stress of change in your own life right now. Change of seasons, change of jobs, change of attitude, change of work, whatever it may be for you. Change of patterns. On that scale of 10, just notice where you are. Got it. We're going to begin right here at the karate chop point. You're just repeating after me. So even though I do feel stress in my body, I choose to love and accept myself. So even though I do feel stress in my mind, I choose to love and accept myself. So even though I feel stress all around me, I choose to look at this differently and love and accept myself. Taking complete responsibility for my body, mind, and soul. All right, point to point right here at the eyebrows. All this stress I've been feeling, side of the eyes, it's just simply representing change. Underneath the eye, but it makes me stressed. 
underneath the nose. I don't care what you call it. Which and I feel the stress on the collarbone. Stress to move forward in my life. Underneath the armpit. Why do I have to move forward? Why can't I just stay comfortable? Over the head, I can. Nobody says I have to at the eyebrow, but then I get discontent. So I thought, well, that's probably because you want to change a little bit, change something. Who, me? No, not me. I'm anything else. I want to stay in my safety zones. It's just easier, but it makes me lazy. Underneath the armpit, I want to find a way to embrace change better. Top of the head, I want to trust myself. The eyebrow, I want to stop all of this doubting. So I, I, I doubt myself every step of the way. Underneath in the eyes, I doubt myself if I'm good enough. Underneath the nose, I doubt myself if I'm worthy enough. Jen, I just doubt myself. The Caliban, I hear it in my chatter, my self talk. Underneath the armpits, who am I to want that? Top of the head, I'll never get that. Why try? Why not try? So if it's not me, someone else will get it. Underneath the eyes, why not me? Underneath the nose, I just don't know if I'm worthy of new things. In the chin, worthy of making a good change. Collarbone, worthy of wanting more in my life. Underneath the armpit, well, where does that come from? Years of doubting. Well, maybe it's time to stop the doubt. Side of the eyes. Think about it for a moment. When's the last time you did make a change? Underneath the eye. And what happened? Even if it didn't quite turn out like I wanted it, there was a good lesson for me. Well, maybe it was a hard lesson, but nevertheless a lesson. Underneath the armpits, I'm up for learning new lessons. Top of the head, as I learn them, it gets easier and easier. The eyebrow, and it is a learning curve to trust. Side of the eye, but why not trust myself? Underneath the eyes, if I get really quiet, underneath the nose, deep inside of me, in the chin, I feel that courage that strength of myself. Collarbone, it's when I listen to all the chatter of the mind, everybody else's opinions, everybody else is doing something more than me. That's when it sinks in. So just take a breath right here at the karate, or right here at the uh, collarbone points. This is your deepest part of you and you tap right here. And just ask yourself right now, okay, self, Where's that stress level for me? What am I stressing about? Money? Relationships? Work? Fun? Notice what comes up for you. We're going to tap on that. Point to point underneath the armpit. I have stress about, say what came up. Of the head. It's just been plaguing me over and over. Top of the head. I can't seem to get rid of this stress about. Side of the eye. But if I take a moment and then I become really present underneath the nose and in this very moment on the chin just for today in this very moment the collarbone, I have what I need right now. Underneath the armpits, and I have what I need so that I can find the courage. Top of the head to just release a little bit of the way I walk around with stress. Eyebrows just remembering 
just for today. Say that to be very present. Underneath the eye, just for today. Underneath the nose, I can be present. In the chin, just for today. Collarbone, I can recognize I am okay. And because I am okay in this very present moment, underneath the armpits, I get to choose my next step. Top of the head, I choose to let go of stress. The eyebrow, I choose to let go of doubt. So I choose to re let go of unknown fear. I choose to let go of previous fear. Underneath the nose, I choose to be present just for today, just for right now. Feeling the presence of the sun and the moon and the stars on this new day. Collarbone, I can make choices from my present moment. Back to the karate chop. I choose to love and accept myself no matter what. Just release the hands. Notice a little buzzing. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, stretching through the body. And just coming back right here to the collarbone again, and just noticing where you are on that scale. Did some of the stress fall down? Were you able to notice more of where it's coming from? And if you need to, continue tapping in the same manner, just even on the word of what you have stress with. It will help to lower that. And then combine with the idea of just for today. I am okay. And that confidence can help you take those little incremental steps. Right hand over the left shoulder, just crossing over, feeling that nice love for yourself, the vulnerability of even looking at what it is. I love you. Say your name. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice big squeeze. Inhale. And exhale all the way down. Feel a lift in energy. Bringing the hands back up to the heart. Moment of gratitude. Gratitude for your spirit. Gratitude for the greater spirit. Gratitude for showing up, tapping it out, coming into the very present moment in order to awaken your day today. Inhaling. And exhaling all the way down, grounding with Mother Earth. And as you're ready, bringing the eyes back open, coming back. Namaste. All right, you guys, have a great day. Take this out into the world. Tap some more if you need to. And I think the summit's gone on for another couple of days. Some great, great lectures. All right, schedule your calls. Love you guys.